Hey y'all, so it's Lisa Sky and I'm back on my channel. Um, if you don't know, this video is going to be on the bottle girl. And so everybody want to know like how I became bottle girl, what bottle girl it is, and like how my family and people feel about me bottle girl. I know I'm a little behind, so yeah, I'm trying to catch up. But yeah, if you like this, like and subscribe and comment. Wanna know if you real with me? Wanna know if you can deal with me? And all the things that come with me. I'm so deep in love. I think I'm too attached, won't you too much. My feelings stuck, loving you ain't right, so I'd rather be wrong. Alright, so y'all finna get ready to work for me so y'all can see like how I be doing my hair and stuff. And um, yeah, this hair come from my raw Indian hair collection, Sky Blue Bundles. And I have a deal extra right now on all long lengths. So any length over 28 inches starts at 300 and I have a deal on my HD wigs, my HD frontals. Somebody asked me how I became a body girl. So if you don't know, I moved to Houston from Chicago back in July and my birthday is August 1st. So for my birthday, I decided that I was going to go to the club. I wanted to go to the club for my birthday because I've never been to the club before. So I was like, okay. So we ended up going to the club. We went to this club called Seaside. And most people who from Houston or been to Houston know where Seaside at. And I met this man and I was like, I want to be a bottle girl because like, I saw what bottle girls was. I was like, oh man. I'm like, I told him I want to be a bottle girl. So he told me like, um, I'm going to put you in touch with these people so you can come one. I went to the cast call, but I didn't even get the job for the one I went to the first time. And I didn't like, I was, I wasn't even salty or nothing. I was just like, you know, it's a learning experience. So I didn't get that job. And then I called this one girl who was a bottle girl for this promo team. And I asked her, I was like, not even asked her, but I saw like that the people that she was working for was hiring, but I had missed the casting call. So I had like DM her personally. It was like, hey, I am thinking about being a bottle girl. You know, um, I would love to join your team, yada, yada, yada. And at first he was real skeptical to hire me. Cause everybody know as being a bottle girl, you book, you work. Most of the time you book, you work. So I was like, um, he was real skeptical about hiring me because I'm from Chicago and I really don't know many people from Houston yet. I was like, well, just, I was like, I got you. Like, you know, give me some time, I got you. So he hired me and I was so excited, y'all. I was so excited about the girl. I was like, oh my God. So one week as a bottle girl, I booked seven sections. And if you don't know, that's really hard to book seven sections. You gotta get seven people to send section fees, seven people buy bottles and everything. So like, you know, I really did my thing. So, you know, I was like, okay, like I'm really good at bottle girling. Right, so no, I did not move to Houston to become a bottle girl. I moved to Houston because I have a business and I wanted to move my business somewhere else. And I was selling hair and clothes, so I was like, you know, it was a good place to start selling hair and clothes. For me, it was between Houston and Atlanta, and I chose Houston. So, yeah, so that was my first promo team. I don't work for them anymore, but they did put me in place, like, really learn what bottle girl is and see, like, you know, what's to it and stuff like that. So my next thing I started working at, I started working at this club called Mr. X. That's where I'm at right now. And I'm an in-house girl at Mr. X. If you don't know what an in-house girl is, I work for the club. I don't work for a promo team. I work for the club. Me and it's a little different. You don't necessarily have to book to work. Like you're going to be on the floor on the schedule most of the time if you don't book. So I work for this club at Mr. X. I went to a casting call for Mr. X actually. And they had, that's what this is now. I went to a casting call. If you don't know what a casting call is, it's like a team or a club gonna have like a big event, like like basically like a cast call. Like you go and it's gonna be a bunch of different girls and y'all gonna interview and they gonna ask you like why do you wanna be like you know why did, like what do you think you can bring to the table? Why you bought a girl want to buy a girl for them and things like that. Like you know they ask about your social media and things like that. So when I went, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think I was gonna get the job because it's like uh, if you have been to Mr. X, auto. It's like an older crowd, so like I am a younger bottle girl in here, and so like you know, I was kind of worried, like I'm not, they're not gonna like me because I'm young, ooh, ooh. so I'm like, you know, but they don't like me, and I end up getting hired, so that's how I've been at lately. And this X is a real good club, like Tori Blaine's be coming there, Dre be coming there, Toki be sitting there, like a lot of different people be in Mr. X, so like it's a real good club and like a good opportunity or whatever. So then, um, I also work for another promo team now called Event Pros and that's a it's a real good promo team. We have a space on Fridays and then we had Evans on Saturday. So like you know I'm, I am with a promo team that you have to book to work. You have to book to get on the floor. Which is fine. Okay, and so then someone else asked me like what is bottle grilling, right? Okay. This is what bottle grilling is. Somebody was like what is bottle grilling? So bottle grilling is really just like you, we're wait, we're waiters, like we waitresses. So you wait on tables, we bring out bottles and things like that. We do a little dance, or whatever. But more than anything, we're a waitress. So like you have to have good customer service. You have to be good with people. Like you have to build a good rapport with people. Cause just cause 
like you book somebody somebody can book with you now and they're gonna want to book with you later if you gave them like a good experience in that club so and like everything is word of mouth so like it's a lot of people that book with me because they was like oh my friend da, 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 booked with you so you know now i want to book with you they said they had a good time and i think social media is a big part of my world as well like i know everybody doesn't have a big social media base but that's the easiest way to get like get yourself out there Bobby girly like you have to like book so like you're gonna be on social media dming people or posting and things like that and if you don't have a lot of social media base it's gonna be hard like i like i think social media has made it a little easier for me to book bottle girl like i know it'd be hard if i didn't have any followers and things like that but yeah so babe, bottle girl is basically just waitressing and you have to build a rapport with people we're constantly marketing like even though we be in the club, we have to go out on our own time and market and do group outings and like meet people. You meet a lot of different people outside, like other clubs too. So yeah, but um, then someone asked me like, is it hard bottle girling? Um, I don't think it's hard. Um, I work for customer service for so I don't think it's hard, but I think it's it can be hard if you don't have good customer service skills. Um. I feel like it can be hard too if you like, you know, you don't have a social media base to book. So like, if you don't know people, it's gonna be hard to get people to come in and book with you. So no, I don't think it's hard, but I don't think it's easy either. I think it depends on the person and what they do. And no, I don't think bottle girl is for everybody. Like people think it's so easy. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be a bottle girl, I'm gonna be a bottle girl. And it's not as easy as it looks. A lot of people come bottle girl and then they quit like after a week because it's not for everybody. And money is not guaranteed bottle girl. Like people think, that because like you can walk out with two three thousand on one night that it's like that every night it's not like that every night because one night you have a real good night another night you have a slow night like it's not the same every night so i do tell people like be cautious of that like don't think you're just gonna come to the club every night and make this money because you're not or well, you might but i haven't made the same money every night ever so it's never like the same amount every night so that's what that is. And then, what else people ask about girl? People are like, what do your family think about you, about a girl? I'm not lying. Majority of my family don't agree with me about a girl. Um, and you know, older people I said, never I said, like, they seen Players Club and stuff like that, so they think that's what it is. But I don't work in a strip club. And, like, it's e it's not easy money, but I'm saying, like, it's it's money. Like, I'm being paid to do what I'm something I'm good at. Like, I'm good at social media, I'm good at marketing and stuff. So, I don't think it's hard at all. Like, and I think bottle girl is a very fun, it's a fun job. Like, you get to meet people, you make a lot of different friends and stuff. Like, if anything, the job is fun. And that's why I tell everybody, it's a fun job. Like, you get to meet so many different people. Like, celebrities and all. We meet so many NFL players and everything in the club. Like, you meet a lot of different people and it's just, it's a fun job. That's why I tell people, like, don't get caught in. Like, it is work, but it's fun work. So don't get caught in, like, the whole da 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 Like, it do have a lot of requirements, don't get me wrong. Like, we have to keep our nails done. We have to keep our hair done. We have to, most clubs require you to wear makeup or something like lashes, anything. Like, it's very rare that you see a lot of bottle girls with a bare face or anything like that because they don't play. But yeah, that's, that's what a lot of people ask me. Like, you know, do your family wear bottle girl in? Is it hard to you? Um, It's just really just fun to me. Like, that's why I do it because it's fun. I have a good time doing it. I have a good time meeting people. And like, as a marketing part, I meet a lot of mother girls and people period like who buy my hair now, who wear my clothes and stuff because they see you in it and they, they like it. Like, you know, that's all it is. It's marketing. Life is just marketing. And if you look good or something, people are going to want to buy it from you. Like, and being a mother girl is not cheap. Like, you know, we spend, like, you have to spend money to make money. So we're paying, constantly paying for weaves, installs, nails, lashes, outfits. Like, an outfit sometimes one week could be $20 for an outfit. The next week we're paying freaking. $80 for an outfit like skin tones are like $10 a pack like and then sometimes you gotta buy two because skin tones rip so easily like it's it's not as easy as people be thinking or cheap as people be thinking so like yeah you, you make money but you have to spend money to make the money first I'm sorry like a little science code because the weather in Houston is so freaking my color like it was cold yesterday and now it's hot today my little my little allergies can't take it but yeah, like, and that's why I always tell people, like, just do what you think better for you. And I tell people, like, don't give up. Because people be like, I went to a casting call and I didn't get hired. And I tell people all the time, I went to a casting call, my first casting call, and I did not get hired. And I'm not upset about it at all because maybe it just wasn't for me. Like, you know, so I, they had something else in store for me. 
and that just wasn't it so yeah like i tell people all the time like if you're gonna be about a girl you gotta give it 100 percent because it's not one of them halfway you know half a jobs you could do because if you like you know you have to you have to put your all in to making money you're not gonna ain't nobody just gonna give you money like it's not just something that's gonna just be given to you and nothing like that so i tell people all the time like if you're gonna be a bodyguard, you have to really be committed to it because we have to post all the time. Some like sometimes we have drop times and stuff, like we all have to post at the same time. We have to go take pictures. That's another thing. I hate taking pictures. But being a bodyguard, you gotta take pictures all day, every day. So like that's how some people like it's just it's a job. Like, even though we look like people think it's so easy, we don't do nothing, it's a job. But yeah. So that's why I say like, oh, um, if y'all got any more body girl questions, y'all can ask me. But like, I don't know no more body girl vlogs and stuff. Like I was vlogging the other day. I'm gonna put, actually put that in here. I was vlogging the other day of, of us having like little team shots before we went to work and stuff like that. So yeah, like if you ever have any body girl questions or anything, just comment and I answer more of the questions under here. And but this like should answer like how I got the job and all that. So like if you like this, like subscribe and share. Have a good night. Y'all gonna make me a lot of money? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Wanna know if you real with me? Wanna know if you can deal with me and all the things that come with me? I'm so deep in love. I think I'm too attached, won't you too much? My feelings stuck loving you ain't right, so I'd rather be wrong.